Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us in this episode. Today we are going to be installing the Vinix distribution. Vinix is a Linux operating system geared towards the visually impaired uh, Linux users. Vinix is based off of Ubuntu and utilizes the Orca screen reader during the install process. So right now I've installed the CD. It's booted up into the live desktop and right now we're at the desktop and I'm going to hit Alt and F1 to bring us to the menu. Menu. And then I'm going to up arrow until I get to system. Shut down. Lock out of Linux. Lock screen. System menu. Okay, now we're at system. I'm going to right arrow. Preferences menu. And then I'm going to hit the arrow down to go to administrator. Administration menu. Then I'm going to right arrow over again. Up to CD. I'm going to arrow down now. This utility. File Backup Manager. Departed. Hardware Drivers. Install Release. Install Release. This is the option we want to install Vinix on our computer, so we're going to hit Enter. Return. Orca Screen Reader slash Magnifier Frame. Preferences button. Now it's booting into the next screen. It's a really easy process to go through and install Vinix. Uh, you'll see as we go through it here. Install it, frame. Step 1 of 7. Quit button. Okay, we have step 1 of 7. Now I'm going to hit the tab button. Tab. Tab. And we're just going to hit enter right away. Return. Forward button grade. Tab. Setting it in English. So right now it's on Apple. right now it's set on English and we're just gonna leave it on that, so I'm gonna hit the tab key. Tab. Text. United States selected. Tab. United States combo box. Tab. Text. United States New York selected. That's that's the time zone I'm in. It's using United States and New York. Tab. United States New York combo box. Tab. Step two of seven quit button. Tab. Back button. Tab. Forward button. We're going to hit forward. Return. Hit enter on that. Which layout is most similar to your keyboard? Suggested option colon. Selected radio button. We're just going to stick with the default settings, so we're going to hit the tab button. Tab. You can type into this box to test your new keyboard layout text. Tab. Set 3 of 7 quit button. Tab. Back button. Tab. Forward button. Return. Tab. Where do you want to put Linux 3.0? Erase and use the entire disk. Selected radio button. Now we're at the partitioning the hard drive. And it's asking if we want to use the entire disk, which we do. And it's already checked by default. So we're going to tab to the forward button. Tab. Psi 1000 SDA 21.8 GB out of the hard disk combo box. That's just saying the size of the hard drive we're using. Tab. Scroll pane. Tab. Step 4 of 7. Quit button. Tab. Back button. Tab. Forward button. Return. Now step 4 of 7. We're almost done. This is so easy to install and this is a really great experience for blind users being able to install something by themselves because not every blind person has a sighted person to help them install an operating system. So this is great. Right now it's going to be partitioning the hard drive. This could take a minute or what two. What is your name? Text. Now it's asking for the username to type in. F R O S T B I D E space S Y S T E M S. Tab. What name do you want to use to log in? If more than one person will use this computer, you can set up multiple accounts after installation. Text. Frostbite selected. It's using my Frostbite as my name by default, that's fine. Tab. Password. We're going to put in our password. Let's... Asterisk. 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 Password. Then you have to type it in again to confirm the password. Asterisk. 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 What is the name of this computer? This name will be used if you make the computer visible to others on a network text. Frostbite desktop selected. 
I'll just leave that by default, that's fine. Tab. Require my password to log in. Selected radio button. And that's asking if you want to require to type a new password when you log in. That's checked by default. I just leave it like that. Tab. Step 5 of 7 with button. Tab. Back button. Tab. Forward button. Return. Now we're moving on to step 6 of 7. Read only text. Tab. Advanced button. Tab. Step 7 of 7 with button. Tab. Back button. Tab. Forward button. We're going to hit forward. Return. Orca screen reader slash magnifier frame. Preferences button. Installing system frame. Now it's installing the Vinix operating system on your hard drive. Once this is done, it'll ask you to reboot the computer. It'll eject the CD from your computer. You'll reboot in a Vinix. Type in your username and password that you created. And you'll be ready to use your Vinix Linux distribution. Orca screen reader slash magnifier frame. Preferences button. Installation complete. Installation has finished. You can continue testing Ubuntu now, but until you restart the computer, any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved. Restart now button. Okay, so Vinix has been installed, and now we're going to restart. Return. We hit enter. Okay, login window frame. Okay, we're at the login window, and it's on your username by default, so you can just hit enter. Now return. Image, password. Now it's asking for the password. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. Then you hit enter. Welcome to Orca. Orca screen reader slash magnifier frame. Preferences button. So when you first boot up, or from when you first log in here, now we're at the Orca preferences window, and you're on the preferences by default, so you hit enter. Now return. Starting Orca preferences. Orca preferences. Tab list. General page. So from here you can configure Orca exactly how you want it to work for yourself. By default it's on the general tab, so you'll hit the tab key. Tab. Keyboard layout panel desktop. Selected radio button. It's on the keyboard layout that's set on the desktop by default. If you wanted to change it, you could hit the arrow key down, and it would, and it would move it to the uh, laptop. But I'm on a desktop right now, so I'm just going to leave that. I'm at the tab key again. Ah, we talk without confirmation checkbox not checked. You'll just leave that by default, because if you accidentally quit Orca, it'll ask you if you're sure you want to quit or not. So you just leave that unchecked. Ah, disable GKSU keyboard brand checkbox checked. We'll just leave that on by default the way they have it already set up. Ah. Present tooltips checkbox not checked. Tab. Show Orca main window checkbox checked. Show Orca main window. I always shut this off. Which this is the main window is what we're in right now, and I don't want it to show up every time I log in. So I'm gonna uncheck it by hitting the space bar. Space not checked. Tab. Start Orca when you log in checkbox checked. We obviously want that checked. Tab. Speak object under mouse checkbox not checked. I leave that unchecked. I don't know how well that actually works. Tab. Help button. Tab. Apply button. Now we're going to hit the apply button. Return. 